I am 25 years old. Um, I act in Japan. Uh, and then I'm in this play called Pissarro. I'm acting the role of Atavalpa, uh, which is um, an Inca god and also a king. I don't think anybody can really relate to Atavalpa because um, he believes that he's the God, and he is the son of the sun, and he's also the king of the Inca Empire. So it's kind of hard hard to relate to that. But um, he's very curious. Um, I think that's very interesting because um, I guess being the god and also the the leader of a of a huge empire, it's kind of hard to accept new things. Mm -hmm. But he was really open to new things. And I think that's what really, I don't know, um, that eventually hurts him because he gets betrayed. But until that point, that makes him more humanly and I guess a bigger person. Yeah. There are not many chances for an actor to perform for an opening series. So that was an honor. But there's a lot of pressure because um, I heard that Ken Watanabe mm -hmm. is going to um, be the lead actor. Mm -hmm. And um, I've always loved him from... I watched um, The Last Samurai when I was, I don't know, I was like seven, six or seven. And that was like one of my favorite movies. And he was awesome. So he's kind of like my star. And I never thought that I would be able to perform with him. They've performed this, the Pisaro, 35 years ago mm -hmm. with Stomi Yamasaki. He was um, Pisaro, and then Ken Watanabe act as, acted as Atavalpa. And this time, Ken san is Pisaro, and I'm Atavalpa. So that's, that's, that's amazing. It's something that doesn't happen very often. So, um, yep, I'm very happy. Um, I was born in San Francisco in 1994 and then I never lived in the States in my youth. Came back to Japan, I was like three or four months old and then I went to an international kindergarten and then all the way up to high school I went to an international school. The school that I went to, um, you had to have different answers from other people. It's the critical thinking aspect that really um, was important. And that was kind of um, not an issue, but I had problems um, I guess growing up because people didn't, they didn't understand that. And also, ever since I started acting, um, in Japan, the director always has um, well, power, obviously, and then he tells us what to do. But Ken-san was saying the other day that in the States, um, it's all up to the actors to think and plan their acting and to offer new things, even if they're wrong. And, well, actually, there is nothing, there's no wrong answers, obviously, in acting, but um, even Ken-san feels that in Japan, he can't really open up to the directors and to the staff and really, um, I don't know, um, yeah, be himself, and I kind of feel that too. Um, it's a little scary to offer something and be like um, turned down because that's what they usually do. Right now, since the director is British, and the play that I did for Padukko last time was also a British director too, so. Um, it's a very good atmosphere. It's, um, he's really open to new things and he really asks us questions and 
how we feel about the scene and how we feel um, as a character. So that's, I really enjoy it. I can talk to the director firsthand um, as far as other people have to go through a translator. But it's, I guess it's a little bit hard because the lines are in Japanese. So I have to kind of, kind of switch my brain, I don't know, I'm, I don't know how it works. It's that instant switch um, that occurs, but it's, it's actually not that bad. I've had about a month prior to the first day of rehearsals. Um, had my script everywhere, I took it everywhere. Um, and I would spend at least three hours a day reading it. So yeah, that's how I memorize my line. But it's also hard because during rehearsals, the lines do change. So it's so much, it's harder to forget lines than to actually memorize them because you, because they're inputted in my mind now. So it's kind of hard to get rid of those and then input another brand new line because you know, that's, it's always more harder. Yeah. I have dreams about this play every night and um, Kensai comes out every night. It's like, in a good way though. Oh. <laughs> um, it's not like he's getting upset or anything. It's just, um, I run the plays in my dreams, um, which is the first. It's long, mm -hmm. but um, it's all right. It means that I'm really focused, I guess. Mm -hmm. and. Um, I have the right mindset, so it's okay. Well, especially because I met Ken-san for the first time in this play, um, I've learned a lot from him, and I've, lot, I've learned a lot of great stuff about what it's like acting in the States. So, um, I really want to try working, maybe not only in the States, but um, where they speak English. So, I guess America, um, Europe, Australia, and New Zealand, they have good um, movies there too. And a lot of filming does happen in New Zealand and Australia. So, that would be great too. So, um, I don't know, somewhere abroad. <laughs> anyway.